Welcome to Tech Tuesday. I'm Jennifer Gibson. And I'm Rich Dixon. Rich, what do you have to share with us today? We're going to take a look at a behavior management system that's online and it's free. Well, you said the magic word, free. And I really like to learn about things that can help with classroom management, behavior management. So let's get started. This service is called Class Dojo, and it has a web interface that's available and accessible from any computer or computing device, including a smartphone and a tablet. It also has uh, an Android-based tablet app, as well as an app that's free in the App Store. So what you're saying is I can use this with my phone, my tablet, and my desktop? That's right. Okay, I All just for free. wanted to <laughs> break it down there. Okay, well, let's take a look. Well, let's get started. On the screen, you can see the first interface after you've signed up. It's just a free and easy sign up process. You get to pick, use your email address and then your password to sign up. And I'm going to go ahead and click start. I've already built up a sample classroom All for right. us to take oh, a look at. Oh, look at that. That now, is great. Each of the icons here, especially if you're a secondary teacher, I can see how this might put you off a little bit because it does look <laughs> a little bit more geared towards an elementary classroom. Right. I'm thinking Monsters Inc. here. Yeah, okay. exactly. And you can actually customize both the size as well as the actual avatars that you see listed here. I have a question here. here. Can you use actual student photos? You can, as far as I know. Okay. The other thing to keep in mind here as well is that when you build up a class list, not only do you have the option of customizing the image or the icon or the avatar, but you also have the ability to just simply list the student name uh, by first name or last name or a combination of both. So it's really up to you in terms of how you want to set this well, up. That, that sounds great. And as far as, do you have to type in each individual student's name or can you import their data in? You have to type in their name inside okay. of here. So it's a little bit time consuming up front. Right. But on the back side, as we'll see with the functionality built in in a minute, it really ends up being a great service that I think is worth that time. Okay. Well, let's take a look. All right. So you can see the class here. I have a list of different students, and each student that's here has a different profile. These are different comments that I might have made throughout the course of my day if a student was doing well. I'll take the student, Aaron, who's an example student here. And let's say that I'm in the middle of a class, either on my tablet, laptop, or smartphone, or any other computing device. I can actually give Aaron some feedback. Maybe he was doing a great job during the day and he was working hard. Aaron gets a point for that. Nice, nice. Let's say, for example, Eddie is acting up again. And he <laughs> has poor Eddie in this case. <laughs> Under negative, we have an opportunity. Let's say he's off task. I do like the icon, I will have to say, of okay. the student climbing on top of the chair and the desk <laughs> as if he's ready to go after someone. Right. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Is there a place to put a note in as to what exactly was uh, going on in this scenario? In that scenario, no. All okay. you have an opportunity to do is just so simply give some quick feedback. Okay. But what I do want to talk about is in addition to giving kind of both points for positive behavior and then taking away points for, to reflect negative behavior, is that you can also take attendance with this. And I'd like to show you that feature now. Okay. So by clicking attendance along the top, you can select mark all present to quickly nice. Just mark all of those there. If you want to go those back, days. <laughs> yes, or somebody is late, you click once and you get this symbol. Oh, very nice. If they're missing, they're absent. Okay. You show that as well. And it's just a quick and easy way to take uh, attendance there. You can save attendance, as you can see here in the upper right hand corner. All right. And then moving on, what I like about this is it has a class timer. So let's say that I'm doing an activity, say a project, and I give the students 20 minutes to work independently or in small groups on something. Okay. I can go ahead and I can build in a countdown timer by simply going in here oh, and very we'll nice. just change that time to 20 minutes in this case, set, I can start it, and then okay. students can have this. Now, if I have in my classroom the luxury of having an Apple TV. Right, this could be displayed up uh, on the wall. And Absolutely. Oh, I love or that. an LCD projector or any other means this of being able really to show This is really motivating when, when students know there's a start and a stop to something, so yes. I can see where that can help with behavior. And you might want to, of course, be just extra sensitive with the privacy, in regards to privacy, I should say, because students have their information about their behavior uh, displayed here as well. So if you don't feel comfortable sharing that, you can always size your screen down and just show that countdown timer or just have that there for you. When it's done, it will ring and you'll know that your session, as well as the students, will know that that session is over. Okay. So let's say, though, that uh, I want to award multiple students. Let's say we're doing a big project uh, that's involving groups of students in, in different okay. configurations. I can select all students. I can select any one of them. It'll end up doing this for everybody. Let's say everybody was on task, for uh -huh. example. And I can add that to that student, and I can also add that there to others. 
Very nice. So the class dojos are a really, really nice way to go, but there's one last thing that I want to focus on, okay. and that's parental and student engagement. Oh, well, tell me more about that, yeah, because so we that is something I think every educator is interested in. Yeah, so let's take a look. There's another feature inside of this service that allows you to send home to students. You set up a parent code, okay. you email the parents if you have their email address, and that is done with inside of Class Dojo. You enter it manually. Again, so this is a little time consuming okay. on the upside, but All on right. the back side, it's great and worth it. We have the email address recorded and entered in here. Simply type in their name. And a student, when, or a parent rather, when they receive the email, will receive something like this All with right. the class code installed uh, for them. And they can enter their first name, last name, and then sign up. Okay, and what do they see? So what they will see is, uh, Welcome to Class Dojo. They will <laughs> have an opportunity to view the student's progress. So okay. if you have anything that happened during the course of the day, parents have the opportunity to be engaged. Now, I find this particularly helpful for those kinds of parents that we've all had that really do want to stay on top of what's happening with their students in the right. course of the day, but right. maybe they aren't able to find a note that you've written to them or about the something that came up. Or the student doesn't share the note. Or the That's student doesn't. Option. Yes, <laughs> exactly. They can check in here on a daily basis or more frequently if they wish right. and follow along with what's happening. Okay. Students as well can opt in. Actually, when students check in on their own progress, they get their own separate code and can opt in, of course, with parent consent ahead of time. Very important. Okay. Both the parent and students see this. So in this case, I have a student, Veronica. She's earned one positive point for hard work and it can break it down to different types of behaviors. Okay. You saw those other categories. All the different times that she's had a positive or negative behavior would be reflected in this donut or circle graph here. All right. And so um, that's a really, really great way to go in terms of getting uh, student and parents to be able to access and track their improvement and change in behavior and classroom engagement. So for me, as I'm looking at this, I, I think overall, I think it's a great kind of concept and idea to be able to monitor in a quick and easy way student behavior. I think there's some things they can work on as far as you know exporting and importing data a little bit easier. Um, I think that anything that saves time as far as that manual entry of data, like a student name, um, emails, would help a program like this. Absolutely. And what we know today is that a lot of the, uh, the people behind these programs, they're taking that feedback and they are making updates. So check back, that's something that could change quickly. But other than that, I think this is a great program uh, to, to, to take a look at. And maybe it's even just for a small group of students. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us.